Daily. It tells the story of how he travelled to Paris and New York and how di he died twice. <laughs>
Sir Charles Gard. <laughs> William Christian, or Ilium Joan, was born on the Isle of Man in 1608, during the period in which the Stanley family, the Earls of Derby, controlled the island. Ilium was born to a very powerful family. His father, Edward, was captain of the island. By 1643, William was an MHK. And soon after that, James, the Earl of Derby, made him receiver, second in charge of the island. When the English Civil War broke out and James went to fight, fight for his king, Iliad was left in charge of the island. James the Earl had forced them to pay. So the parliamentarians didn't get the Isle of Man and they beheaded James.
million pounds. Thief! 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 In 1662, Ilium was released and returned to the island when the Civil War was over. And King Charles II had, had come to the English throne. I've got an idea. Let's have the Act of Indemnity. That means no one involved in the Civil War can be pu punished anymore. Yay! Yay! back on the island <laughs> and was arrested on arrival and put on trial for rebellion. Oh, <clears throat> let's not make the act of indemnity apply to the island man. Sorry, Ilium. <laughs> <laughs> Ilium refused to plead. In Max Law, this meant that he was assumed to be guilty, so no case for the defendant would be heard and he was sentenced to death by Charles Stanley the new Earl of Derby, James' father, who William had previously betrayed. However, when King Charles II received notice of what was to happen, he sent a stay of execution for Ilium Dawn. Yay! <laughs> Unfortunately, a storm blew up, and the ship carrying the stay of execution was stuck in Liverpool until the weather cleared. This was too late for Ilium Dawn. Six soldiers were chosen for the firing squad at Ronald's Way, opposite Ilium Dawn's home. I like him. I'm not going to shoot him. I went to school with him. I'm not going to shoot him. I'm just not going to shoot him. <laughs> <laughs> I went to school with his sister. I'm not going to shoot him. He, pay, he pays well. I'm not going to shoot him. We'll give you all the land up north if you shoot Ellen Dawn. <laughs> when King Charles II heard what had happened, he extended the act of indemnity to the island. Too late! Too late! Gentlemen, and all who accompany me to the gate of death, I have fallen into the snare of Fowler. Now for you lot. Who are my executioners? I will give you. Please give me a piece of paper. <coughs> Hit this. And do your own work and mine. Bang. 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 Bang! <laughs> <laughs> As the best alien done, take Britain and Queen. May Christians' enemies be cursed, be accursed for evermore. May their names perish off the face of the earth. May seven great curse of curses rest upon their heads, and may church stones be found in their dwellings. Today, government buildings are named after Ilium Dawn, and his execution is commemorated. He is probably the most famous figure in Manx history, but was he a hero or a traitor? You decide. Look under your seats. At the count of three, hold up your hero or traitor sign.
Hogan and dancers, who's in the robin? Oh, Hogan and dancers, Jack of the Lantern. Oh, Hogan and dancers, everyone. Where are where, says Robin the Bobbin? Oh, where are where, says Richard the Robin? Where are where, says Jack of the Lantern? Where are where, says everyone? With sticks and stones, says Robin the Bobbin. With sticks and stones, says Richard the Robin. With sticks and stones, says Jack of the Lantern. With sticks and stones, says everyone. How get him home, says Robin the Bobbin. Oh, how get him home, says Richard the Robin. Oh, how get him home, says Jack of the Lantern. Oh, how get him home, says everyone. Thank you. 